My name is Gerardo Injoque, 41 years old. I am from Peru. I am a financial consultant and a circumnavigator. This is my story. My lifelong dream has always been to sail uh, around the world. Um, but I picture it, I would do it when I retire in my own boat. Although I had been sailing for a while, I had never crossed an ocean before. So I signed up to do the clipper race to get the offshore experience. Initially, I signed up to do only one leg. But after my first two weeks of training, I, I was really impressed by, by the whole thing. And, and I thought that one leg was not going to be enough. And I was being all or nothing. So I decided to do the, the whole race. That decision in itself meant breaking with molds and breaking with the traditional path of good education, a good degree, uh, climbing the corporate ladder and making money. Sailing around the world doesn't fit with that uh, traditional path, but it felt so right. When people from my country know that I was doing this, um, they think it's a cruise. <laughs> When I explain what it is like living on an ocean racer, then they say, why do you want to do this? <laughs> why not? It's a challenge. Sailing around the world is something that very few people do. It's, it's just a privilege. Among our crew, I think I was among those who did the risky stuff. Probably the most scariest thing I did on the boat was um, while we were on leg three. After beating, it means sailing with the wind on the nose for almost a week in over 14 knots of wind. Some boats had experienced some issues with the rigging. As a safety precaution, we had to attach a um, lashing between the forestay and a D-ring that is on the bow at water level. So I had to put a dry suit, the climbing harness, and the helmet to go into the water to feed that uh, lashing. While I was doing that, a wave crashed on me. I was still attached to the boat with a halyard. I remember the water being very cold and, and just was next to the boat. That was probably the most scary moment I had in the race. One of the highlights of the race is seeing the world. I had never been into South Africa or Australia or China before. Arriving by sail to New York, for example, for me was very, very special because I lived there and arriving into my favorite city in the world as an ocean racer was a tremendous feeling, something I had never imagined that I was gonna be doing something like this years before. Also, for me, arriving to Punta del Este after the longest race in Clipper history, we were at sea for 33 days. Just to find my dad waiting for me at the dock was also very, very emotional. Winning being on the podium is such a thrill because it's so hard. Amazing that after days and days of sailing, we all arrived between 12 or 24 hours. Being able to, to get to the podium it is very rewarding, quite a thrill, especially when you know that you have fought extra hard. This has been the hardest challenge of my life, that I succeeded. This has put me out of my comfort zones in so many ways, but precisely because of that, I'm a much better person now. I've grown as an individual. I know myself a lot better now, and I can do a lot more with my life. Uh, precisely because of this experience.